Stay within range and don't shove anybody. Well, that didn't work out very well. Got stabbed in the chest and lost my target. Next time, let's not just barrel rush the guards. I figured I could just plow right through them, but... Alright, Connor, let's try this again, bud. Here we go. Run through explosions like a boss. Now let's go around these guys this time. Work like a charm. Looks like he's got a firing squad set up over here. We're just gonna go to the left. Yet again, works like a charm. Don't push anybody, that's part of our objective. Bring it to them. Nice. Okay, don't take any fire damage. That sounds interesting. Ooh, fire. Burning ship! Well, that blocks my path. I saw that one coming. We're getting a little bit too close to him. Swing across these, yes we can. Outside now. Fell down. I have no clue where he is. Oh, nope, we found the way, I think. Perfect. Right on his tail. Did we get his ass? Yes! We caught him. Now go kill him. None of your noble freaking speech bullshit. Just go kill him. Slit his throat. Oh lord, looks like that's what he's gonna do to us. Why do you persist? <laughs> You put us down, we rise again. You end one plot, we forge another. Oh, what? You try so hard, but it always ends the same. Don't I've got a piece you know of you wood stuck you're mad, and This is why. Even those men you sought to save have turned their backs <sighs> on you. Yet you fight. You resist. Why? Because no one else will. Yes! Musket to the stomach, bitch. Now shoot him in his butt. <laughs> well, it didn't kill him. And he didn't kill me. I don't understand this game sometimes. It's just drawn out for ridiculously stupid reasons. He would have killed me there, in real life. If that was a real person, he would have killed me. Okay, get to the Harbor Master. Oh man, I'm even more hurt than I was when I got hit by the chainsaw, or not the chainsaw, the chainsaw, where'd that come from? Cannonball, I mean. Can't even climb up a one foot ledge. Well, after all the action we just had, this is a little anticlimactic, but we'll see what happens here. <laughs> Rough night, was it? He headed inland, took a ferry up the Charles River. I will need passage as well. Of course. Only say the word. Okay, there we go. Mission complete. Gonna chase him up the river, whatever the hell he's doing. His ferry. 
<laughs> and this once and for all, man. Seemed a little ridiculous to to draw it out like they just did, but we'll see what happens. Hopefully, there's a super duper ooper epic ending. Approach the fort. This is as seriously as fast as I can walk. I'm sprint. I'm holding the sprint button right now. Good God. Attack the convoy at this rate? All right, I feel like this is broken. I feel like my game is broken. This cannot be seriously like what's going on. Oh wow. We just gonna play it out over a game of checkers or what? Just sharing a drink, no big deal. Probably poisoned it. why this didn't happen in the ship is is why and the reason why Charles Lee is not putting up a fight right now is um, is why why he just let him do that why they they shared a drink is why <laughs> I do not understand what is going on in this game right now Back at the homestead. Not the homestead, back at the native Indian grounds. The res. <gasps> it's the apple. Why would they leave this behind? We asked. You have succeeded. No. I have failed. My people are gone. Chased out by those who I thought would protect them. It is a trade. A sacrifice. And not in vain. For you have found it. This? Now you must hide it. Where none shall think to look. And then in time... In time, what once was, shall be, again. I do not understand. Nor need you. Only do as we ask. Then, you may do as you wish. So this is where oh, Desmond can find out where he put the shit. 
You have saved Where he hit this it. place, as was your people's purpose, and that matters most. It is not enough. It will never be enough. You strive for that which does not exist. Still, you have made a difference, and you will do so again. Remember, you must hide the amulet where none might find it. Where would I hide a giant glowing ball of awesomeness? I would break it into tiny pieces on my Indian reservation. <laughs> what? Oh, I'm supposed to hide the amulet. That's right, because we already have the apple. We walked through freaking Abstergo with the apple, so we need to find the amulet. That's what we're looking for. I'm sorry. I was confused. But where would I hide an amulet? If I could hide it anywhere in the world. Uh oh, we're traveling back to the Davenport homestead, it looks like. Yep. Are we gonna hide it here? <laughs> we're just gonna go dig a hole and throw it in the ground. This insanely important amulet, we're just gonna bury it like we would an animal. Hiding spot pro. Wait, what? What? Aren't I Connor? I don't remember my last name. Who's Connor Davenport? Or is that me? <coughs> Excuse me if I don't understand that reference, guys. You guys will have to leave it down in the comments because that confuses me. Who the hell is Connor Davenport? Let me look this up. Oh, that's Achilles! Shit! Okay. I didn't know Achilles' name was Connor. Because it's the Davenport Homestead, yeah, so. I'm burying this thing with Achilles. Memory synced. Sequence 12 complete. Is that it? I have a feeling there might be a little bit more. I'm not sure. I think we might go back to real life because we figured out where this amulet is, so now we've got to go find it <clears throat> and do whatever we're going to do with it. I know where the key is. Then let's go. Didn't it say Connor Davenport on the tombstone earlier? Now it says Achilles. <laughs>